Hello everybody, good afternoon. I was gonna say good morning, but it's like six o'clock or after six o'clock, one of those two. I don't freaking know. I know I look like a hot mess, but anywho, welcome back everybody to my channel. I'm just so excited for you guys to be here today. And uh, again, we're coming up with another makeup tutorial. And I thought today that maybe we should do something fun, something very exciting and like, colorful so i figured when you talk about colorful i mostly think that people are probably thinking that i'm gonna go ahead and do the james charles um morphe palette which i do own just fyi maybe i'll do a little tutorial or something of coming up with a look uh next time in you know future videos but for now for today's makeup look what we're gonna go ahead and be doing is the bad habit after shock palette um at first i thought it was like a mini but it's actually not i mean it's pretty big you know this like this is my hand Bam, yeah, it's like literally my entire hand. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and be doing this makeup look using the Aftershock, uh, Aftershock, uh, Bad Habit Aftershock palette. <laughs> if you guys don't know um, about Bad Habit, you can actually find them on their, on the uh, Hush app. Is it Hush app, Hush app? I think it is a Hush app. I might be wrong. I'll make sure I'll do my research and post it up in the comment, in the comments, huh? <laughs> in the description box down below. And if you guys don't know about the Hush app, it has a lot of really like affordable, dupable makeup. So think of like a lot of dupes from Anastasia to Huda Beauty and um, all the good stuff. But they also sell um, a little bit like very known brands like Sigma, for example, um, Pixie, Milani, NYX. Um, elf and stuff like that so um, definitely go ahead and check them out again they are that is the hush app um, but I realize now that bad habit actually has their own website now for their products so if you don't want to get the hush app you can go to badhabitbeauty.com I don't know I'll go ahead and leave the link down below in the description box as well uh, this palette here the aftershock palette is actually a dupe from the uh, Huda Beauty uh, colorful palette I actually forgot what it was called I should have done my research um, <laughs> prior before filming this video but oh wow well, whatever I love this palette as you can tell it is definitely very well loved um, so <laughs> I definitely for my more colorful looks I will go ahead and reach for this um, maybe I might do a video next time of colorful palettes that I own that if you guys want to do some colorful looks I can definitely recommend these palettes oh so, yeah let's go ahead and get started with this makeup tutorial you guys all right so now that I have you guys a little bit close here this is as best as I can bring you guys <laughs> other than that we if you guys if I bring you guys any closer I'm just gonna look like a hot mess I'm pretty sure I already do look like a hot mess and that's okay you know it's been a very long day so I'm gonna go ahead and start by priming my eyes. Now normally I go ahead. Now normally I go, I use my Morphe or my Kat Von D eye primer. Those are my two absolute favorite primers. Um, but for this look, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just take some concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my favorite concealers. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in, where is the shade? light medium beige <laughs> I'm gonna use the bad habit mirror here <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of dab it on the eye okay and then you can either take a brush or or a sponge and just dab it out I'm just gonna go ahead and use aerial techniques sponge here and just kind of dab it out here well anywho all right so now I am always so unprepared when it comes to brushes <laughs> I haven't washed my brushes yet so do not judge it I'm so sorry but don't judge me for my dirty brushes okay okay so normally when i forget to wash my brushes a good pro tip for me to you just fyi so recommend washing your brushes because 
this is just a little temporary thing, especially if you're a makeup artist. So, I normally just take my little brush cleanser. This is the Sephora Daily Brush Cleanser. This is one of my favorite things um, to kind of just like give my brushes like a quick, I guess you can say like a quick rinse, you know? So, spray it along like that. And just with like a nice little towel, I'll just rub it along like this and kind of get that product ready and it should be kind of a little bit still dirty but hey you'll be able to go ahead and use it so but I still recommend you guys washing washing your actual brushes these are the colors of this palette here um, I'll go ahead and go with the names real quick we got right here sensation we got BPM light show Ch I was gonna say Chinese <laughs> it's chaser actually um, chaser electronica Drop, Plur, Tingle, and Surge. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take, let's go ahead and start with Chaser right here, this nice little kind of like orangey shade. Pick it up like that. It is really pigmented, so tap off the excess. And let's go ahead and just blend this on our crease. And I for sure actually want to go ahead and build that color up. I really want that orange to really stand out. So I'm dipping in again and applying this on, on the crease. Yes, fam. That's color right there. Oh, it's queen work. here for it <laughs> all right so now I'm going to go ahead and take a s small tapered brush here like so and this is from BH cosmetics this is the number two brush from their smoky eye set I believe um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually jump into this shade called surge or no not surge <laughs> this is surge I meant tingle this one right here okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this on the crease. And what I love about this brush is that it applies the shadow so nice and it blends it out so good. And I'm not putting too much pressure on the brush. I'm just letting the brush do the work. I actually want to brighten that up so I'm just gonna again go with that tapered brush dip into tingle here that's a lot of pigment so dab dab down let's go in I've gotten some food before I started this tutorial my stomach is like rumbling right now All right, so now I'm actually going to take Surge, which is that red right here. Oh, you can see. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna go ahead and take Surge right here with that same brush. And I'm just kind of gonna go over that, but I'm just only gonna focus this on the outer part of the eye. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this large uh, tapered brush. This is the number one from BH Cosmetics. This is again from the Smoky Sap. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and kind of blend this out of here. And I'm actually gonna take Electronica here, which is this yellow right here. And uh, just kind of, just drop my brush. 
electronica and I'm actually going to kind of just focus this here on the upper part right here and just kind of blend it out and make it not too intense. This is where I kind of want to dive in with some of the fun deeper colors. So I am actually going to go ahead and jump in to this shade called Plur right here, which is this nice deep blue. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it on a flat brush here. This is from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to spritz it because it's dirty. I'm taking that shade Plur, I was going to say Blur, but Plur, I don't know what Plur means, but whatever. I'm taking Plur on this flat brush here, this flat, flat, fluffy brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm just actually going to now just put this on the inner corner of the eye. Oh no, the center of the eye, just focusing it like this. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just kind of blend it outwards here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back with my BH Cosmetics number two. This is the small tapered brush and no product, whatever's left over on this brush from the previous look, I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of just blend everything out. There's no harsh lines and everything is nice and transition, has like a very nice gradientness to it. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> so far we should be working with something like this. So now I am just gonna introduce Electronica, which is that yellow, and I'm taking a fluffy flat brush here from Wet n Wild that I got from the dollar store. I'm really packing that brush. Okay, and I just wanna tap off the excess because I really don't want too much pigment going on. And I'm actually gonna just tap this lightly on the inner corner of the eye. Working with something like that and oh my god I'm really feeling it okay um all right so that's gonna be part one here of the eyes I will go ahead and just do my face outside of the camera and then I'll go ahead and come back and do the rest of my eyes here for you guys with so far I am really digging this okay huh Okay, queen work. All right, so I'll be right back, you guys. All right, so we are back. I got most of my face out of the way. I figure why not just do the rest of my eyes while I bake right here a little bit, you know, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and go to it. All right, so let's go ahead and finish the eyes here, you guys. So now we're just gonna go ahead and take this nice flat brush here. This is a uh, flat brush from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just combine both uh, Pilar, haha, <laughs> Plur and Surge together, so, okay. okay, and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and just put this on the outer part of the eye here. And then I'm actually gonna take this nice purpley, like pastel color here, Sensation, on that same brush, okay. And I'm actually just gonna focus this here on the center. is how I okay so don't judge me but this is how I literally clean my brushes I'm always like using the back of my hand to go like this and my hand always ends up like all weirdly stained if you guys can see that see <laughs> so I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into electronica which is that yellow 
and I'm gonna use this to kind of brighten up my inner corner here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and just take a nice little like small blending brush and uh, where is it? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this nice little dual ended brush. I'm just gonna take this the round part here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of like brighten up a little bit the bottom eye just to kind of give it that like sunsetty well, well whatever we got going on up here and i'm actually gonna take tingle and chaser okay why do i keep trying to trying to call it chinese that you're live and then i'm just gonna blend this out here All right, so now it's liner time. I'm just gonna grab my black eyeliner. This is just a simple pencil liner here. This is from Wet n Wild. As you can tell, it's been loved. I'm just gonna go ahead and re finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little bake off that I got going on, um, blush highlight, and then I'll go ahead and come back with the full face here. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Please excuse the highlighter. I actually got very excited with my highlighter today, excuse me. Um, this is the highlighter that I'm using is actually from Artist Couture. This is their Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. So anyways, and then what I got on my lips is the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. I got the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color from Rimmel, and this is in the shade Plum The Show, which is like that. Finish look, this is the entire look. How are we feeling this? Are we vibing the colors, everything? Oh my god, I'm like really, really loving this look. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, um, so. Yeah, so this is the look that I created using the Bad Habit Aftershock palette. Again, I love this palette. This palette is definitely one of my go-tos when I have, when I need like a colorful eye look, as you can tell. Anyway, so this is the palette. Again, this is the look that we created. I sound like a broken player. Um, anyways, you guys, so let me go ahead and know, let me know your thoughts on the on this look in the comments below. Um, as well as I will go ahead and list the products that I used off camera um, in my description box there so you guys can go ahead and check them out. But so far, I am doing my face. I'm digging my makeup today. Mm. I cream contoured a little bit today, so I kind of go look a little bit intense. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Do me an awesome favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button there for me below. Go ahead and join the tribe fam here. And my nose, sorry. Until the next video, I'll go ahead and catch you guys later. All right, bye guys.